students here at Lee Summit West High School tonight are in mourning. They told me the grief is palpable in the hallways. They lost two classmates, one who graduated last year and one who was just halfway through his senior year. And a memorial now marks the spot where Nathan Jerome and uh, Tanner Rarden lost their lives. The Lee Summit Police report states that another senior, Colin Carter, was speeding at 80 to 100 miles an hour when he tried to pass a vehicle, lost control, and swerved into oncoming traffic. And now that car that was carrying the three teens was struck, then flipped over onto the side of the road. Jerome was pronounced dead at the scene. Rarden then died at the hospital. And today, we spoke with students at Lee Summit West about that jarring loss. He was always happy. He got along with everyone. He never hated anybody. And um, yeah, it's just kind of sad to know that he'll, I mean, he never got to graduate. She was speaking about Nathan Jerome there, and the school didn't want to comment on the crash, but they did say that they're providing extra counseling to students and staff here at Lee Summit West. And coming up tonight at 9 and 10, we'll hear from family members of one of the victims. Reporting live in Lee Summit, Emily Welsh, KMBC 9 News.